This is lesson 4.3, and we're going to continue our discussion of accelerators, shortcuts, or tricks by talking about conversions and the calculator. So this is kind of a nice segue because there are lots of things you can do in Google that people don't know about and yet are immensely, immensely handy. So as you see here, there are conversions that you can do. So for example, Fahrenheit to centigrade, yards to miles, and so on. Now, there's a few things you have to know about that. The biggest one is caution. It won't tell you if you try to do something dumb. If you try to convert pounds to milliliters, it won't warn you about that. But let's actually do some examples here, and we'll talk about some of the cautions as we go along. For example, let's look at a conversion from one mass unit to another mass unit. Weight, weight. One kilogram in pounds. So this makes sense. Here you have a nice little calculator where we've given you the option to type in a number. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Now what's five kilograms? Oh, it's 11 pounds. You see, as I type, it updates the number. Notice also that the unit selector is right here. I can click here and convert, say, from grams, five grams to pounds. That makes no sense. But I can convert that to ounces. And don't ask how many ounces there are in a pound. It doesn't make any sense. But you see, you can actually easily convert from one weight measure to another weight measure. Now, Google also has a lot of conversions for measures you may not know about. So, for example, we've all read this book, 20,000 Leagues. A, you have to know 20,000 is a measure of distance. And B, you have to understand that if you translate it to something you understand, you will you will comprehend what's going on here. So I've converted 20,000 leagues, a measure of nautical distance, into kilometers. So in this case, it's what? 111,000 kilometers. Okay. Now that's interesting because what is the diameter of the Earth in kilometers? This is another one of those questions I can ask. And you'll find out quickly that the diameter of the Earth is 12,000 kilometers in diameter. So, what does the title of that book mean? I leave it to you. It's basically not what you think. It's not the depth to which the Nautilus goes. But let's go back to conversions. I can convert, for example, we talked about distance, we talked about weight. We can talk about units you may have read about but not understand. So, cubits, let's do uh, one cubit in meters. So that's an archaic measure that you might read about in old literature. One cubit is roughly the distance of your arm from here to here, and that's about 0.4 meters. So you see, you can actually look for things that you do not otherwise understand. We can do time, we can do temperature, we can do measures of weight or distance or whatever, and I can ask questions like, uh, how many cups in a peck? Again, a peck is an old measure what we find out is 37 cups. Okay? Now, let me caution you. If I ask for something like 100 milliliters in, say, pounds, what is that? It's going to say, here, that doesn't make any sense. So let me tell you how much a pound of water weighs. So you see here, it's not telling you that it's 2.4 or whatever because there's no conversion from milliliters, a volume measurement, to pounds, a weight measurement, except in the context of water or oil or whatever. But here, we've got a result that shows you how to convert 100 milliliters into pounds or one, one pound into milliliters and so on. Okay, So notice that. It does not tell you that's a silly question. Don't ask me that question. And of course, if you're trying to do work in, say, science or, or, or technical issues, I might want to say, what is a thousand angstroms in milliliters, in millimeters? So that makes sense. And this is now part of the metric system. And you can see the, the movement of the decimal place. So I wanted to point this out to you. And I'll point out one, one other area I wanted to, to highlight here. You can do simple calculations, four point. 4 plus 5 divided by 3. So that makes sense. 
But now Google realizes you're trying to do some math, so it gives you a whole calculator here. Notice when I did my query here, 4 plus 5 plus, uh, divided by 3, it implicitly grouped it according to the rules of math, so the precedence operations of math. So in this case, you want to be aware, again, of what it is you're asking, which is a generally good heuristic for all of these kinds of conversions and simple math operations. Now that you know how to do this, go ahead and go to the next activity. Enjoy the conversions. It's immensely useful, especially when you're traveling internationally and you want to convert local unit of a monetary currency to whatever currency you're familiar with, say three pounds British currency to US dollars. Go ahead and explore that.